Hi everyone, it's Mel Rosenberg here, and uh, today I want to share with you just how easy it is to make a picture dummy book using our books. So um, let's uh, get right to it. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, I've already signed into our books, O U R B double O X. And uh, I have uh, just added my name, my email. I've agreed to the terms and conditions, which are very lenient because it's our website. Together with Ron Sternin and my wife, Shuli, we've created a website that's good for authors. Um, we only have the rights to show. Your, uh, your work. Uh, you can remove it whenever you want. And uh, we are going to make picture book dummies in minutes. Page printing picture book dummies. You ain't seen nothing like this. So um, as soon as you sign in, uh, you get this uh, uh, page, which enables you to decide which kind of book you want to create. Um, this is for uploading PDF files. But today we're going to discuss interactive page clipping, interactive ebooks, which you can also edit at any time. Okay, so we're going to give a title to our book. Uh, we're going to call it um, the um, Happy the New Year. Okay, um, and um, we're going to click on next. Uh, when you give a title to a book, it creates, it generates a URL. So we can see the link here, okay, uh, and we'll use this afterwards, but this is the link we can share. So essentially, we already have a book, okay? Um, the visibility is public right now. Uh, if we want the book to be private, just to share the picture book dummy among friends, we will click here. This is free right now. And um, even in the future, uh, if you are an STBWI member and you write to me or you are a teacher, uh, then we will consider upgrading you for free. But even the premium costs only $2 a month, so it's no big deal. So uh, we've uh, saved the book here now as a, pre as a private book. And uh, you see here that we have the editor. And in the editor, we can add either text or artwork, but creating... We're creating a, a picture book dummy today. So I've already prepared a uh, poem, um, nothing special. Uh, it's a ditty, but we're going to use it today just to make a picture book dummy. And I've copied it from my Word document. I'm just going to paste it here. The whole poem is here. And what I can do now is just split it into blocks. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to copy this, okay, and I will add a new page here with the green. This will be my empty page, okay, and then I click on another page and I add some more text, okay, uh, and uh, I just continue now to add from my document, okay, and create a blank page. And then some more text. Uh, and um, I continue to do this. So depending on how long the text you have, it'll take you between one and five minutes to do. Okay? Um, and uh, I'm going to continue here. I'm almost finished. I picked a poem that's not too long. And now, believe it or not, I already have a dummy book. I'm going to click now on the save. And I already have a book. Uh, if you don't believe me, let's take a look at my book. I'm not a big fan of rhymes, but I do it sometimes. Okay, so uh, let's have a, a preview at what our book looks like. It doesn't have a cover yet, but it will in a minute. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, preview link. We will have a look. So this is quite incredible. My dummy book is ready. And uh, experts 
in picture book writing always recommend that we create dummy books, but many of us don't because it's usually a lot of work. Uh, but I can tell you, um, because I've been working with Harold Underdown, and he is a big proponent of uh, dummying up your book, that uh, when I do dummy up the book, it makes a big difference. Uh, you can see how the pages might turn. You can see whether you've created suspense. You can have some idea of what the uh, artist uh, might be thinking. Uh, and it's true that editors will usually decide where the page turns are, but they kind of rely on your uh, wisdom in writing the manuscript, imagining what the page turns are going to look like. Um, now let's go back to the uh, editor here. Okay. And uh, let's do a few more nifty things. We will uh, just add a cover. So if I click on the second tab, I can write about the uh, uh, I can write about the book if I want to. Uh, happy New Year. This is uh, for public books more important. Uh, but more important, I can upload a cover here. And if the book is in Hebrew or Arabic, I can change the direction, which is a feature uh, of our book. So I'm just going to click here. And I happen to have prepared a cover, self-made cover. Um, I'm not uh, going to sell or market this. It's a, it's a dummy book, but it's nice to have a little cover. Uh, thank you, Rotem Omri, for this beautiful new. Um, and I created this picture uh, on PowerPoint and then saved it as a JPEG. Uh, very simple to do these things. And if you need help, you just reach out to me, and I will be glad to help. So I'm going to save. And uh, you can uh, see right now that uh, I have a book. So let's have a look. Save, and let's have a look at my dummy book. OK. Let's make it bigger. So here it is. Now, uh, say you want to edit this. You can always go back to the editor. You can also create new books and keep copies of the dummy books as they evolve. OK? So both of these are very easy to do. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been how to create a page flipping dummy book that you can edit. Uh, in less than five minutes. So um, I've overstayed my welcome, and uh, I will answer any questions that you have below in the, uh, in the feed. And I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I've been away for a while, and now I'm back. So most days I will be broadcasting at 4 p.m. on one subject or another. OK, thank you again to Rote Omri and to Kalni Zolinski on these wonderful pictures. And uh, to all you out there, uh, good luck with your children writing. Uh, and uh, I hope to be in touch. Don't be embarrassed to reach out to me. I love helping, and I love being helped. Bye-bye, everybody.